Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today guys, we are going to be checking out UFL's uh, release of the alpha. Yeah, I woke up today, I saw this, I said, wow, this is really happening. UFL is uh, another football game that's being released. It was supposed to be released last year, they got delayed, they've been working on it, I think they have said since 2016. Um, really, besides FIFA and eFootball, we don't have any other football games. UFL is coming out pretty soon, Goals I think is coming out in like two years. Um, and then now I guess FIFA is going to make uh, FIFA because EA have lost the license. So we've got a lot of football games coming out in the future. And uh, yeah, you know, initially uh, UFL released some footage and it just didn't really look that good. It did look different. And what I will say is that different is always okay. I think a lot of people always are like comparing stuff to FIFA. And you have to understand FIFA is very like skill move based. Um, just different than what another football game is going to be. Um, so I am always open to like seeing different stuff. I was not super impressed with the first gameplay like but I thought they did really uh, some funny things because UFL as a company they released their early gameplay. They were laughing at it. They were talking about all the errors like they were literally just posting on their social media all the errors. So they've already po posted saying we value your feedback on any issues you've noticed. Thank you for your patience. They've had some really cool ideas with game modes. I've seen them, you know, posting some stuff about doing like 3v3 ranked mode. They have some really cool ideas that are not in football or eFootball. So, sorry, that are not in FIFA or eFootball. So, I'm very excited to see this. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. I'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts. Um, I saw a couple of the comments. I didn't watch any of the gameplay yet because I just wanted to keep a raw reaction for a YouTube video. But I saw some people saying they think it looks a lot better. Now, what you guys got to keep in mind with an alpha gameplay as well. Alpha is like the, 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 the beginning version of a, of a gameplay release. It's such an early on stage. So, we got to take it with a grain of salt. We can't really look into it too deeply. But it should still give us some ideas of how the game is being played. Um, and do we have any information before we start on exactly what this is? So it may feel raw, but we're making progress and we'll deliver an update once we finish implementing the new animation system. So they're adding in animations. Those are not there yet. Believe in UFL. They're releasing half a match from the January 2023 alpha build. Now, I looked in the comments as well, and they responded saying that they are planning to release this game from Q3 to Q4. And I believe it is free to play. I believe it is free to play. It's coming to every single console. And uh, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see. Let's see. And we're going to break down some stuff, man. As we watch this, we're going to talk about what's good, what's not good, and uh, how it looks. We wanted to show you a full match on our new animation system, but we're still polishing it. So we're releasing the second half time of one of our, okay, Unreal Engine, right? Always good. This is the time to freshen things up and maybe change tactics. Let's go. He plays it back to his teammate. Lots of good offers. Where is he going to play it? Keeping possession. His teammates are waiting in the area. Good work there. Now, can he hold on to the ball? Great challenge. All right, so right away... Obviously, the way it looks, obviously the animations are still a little bit slow, and I do feel like, I do feel like the players. So in FIFA and eFootball, I feel like in those two games, yes, the dribbling is different, but the players look realistic when they're on the ball. This looks very arcadey early on, so I think they've got to figure out a way to kind of have the players look less like stick figures almost, um, because they look a little bit like that. I want to see this right here. This was a ball roll, and then he lost the ball, but he kind of got the jam, which is a part of football. You know, you can have random outcomes, but I want to see the tackling animation right there. So he did a ball roll. Oh, okay, unlucky. And then right here, he won the ball. Okay. That's a nice pass out. Is that like a bridge? All right, so we got some pace. The ball roll looks really nice. What I will say about this is that the ball roll in FIFA is like, it's just not realistic. The way that you ball roll everything, that's not happening in football. And the way the animation is in FIFA is not how a ball roll looks. I will say the way they have the ball roll is very, very accurate. Um, I like that pass. I like that, though, man. That, that looks pretty good. And you can't expect that finesse shot to go in every time, but that looks pretty nice. Graphics look solid. I would say graphics do not look bad at all for an alpha. Left back with the ball. You have to keep in mind as well, like, this gameplay, actually the passes are pinging. Look how fast the passes are. That skill move looked really glitchy. But 
What's important to know about the passing is that this is head-to-head, -head, and this is going to be like, okay, that was interesting. The ball kept speeding up there, but that's probably that's probably realistic, right? Um, usually, you know, when you get into like an ultimate team or something like that, which they are going to have, the players will be way faster because the ratings will be insane. So that's something to consider as well. Uh-oh. All right, that's a bad miss, but I guess it was aimed right at the keeper, so... Is that user Both error or that's good forwards, but one team is pushing for goals while the other is sitting back. Okay, I really like that pass. That 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 was a sick pass. Ball rolls look so realistic. I like how the white team won the ball there. Um Blue team is tracking back now. Let's see if the blue team can catch up. Man, that dribbling looks crazy. Alright, so could have been dangerous. Okay, wins the ball? No, doesn't win the ball. Uh-oh. We got some uh, FIFA sticky. All right, that's nice. Wow, I got to tell you, man, this dribbling right here looked really nice. Let's watch this. So, blue team is tracking back. White team's on the attack. Shot fake inside. Ball roll looks unreal in this game. I'm loving the ball roll. That close dribbling looks really nice. I got to stop pausing so much, man. It's, it's hard not to pause. I'm trying to go through and talk about this stuff. All right. Blue team on the attack. That was a bit weird. Kind of ran through. Nice ball roll. Nice pass. Nice first. Wow, that pass was nice. Probably shouldn't have done the skill move there because he slowed down. All right, these long balls out are crazy nice. Wow. Okay. That was a bit weird. Nice pass. I tell you guys, the AI in this game, I mean, defensively, does not even look... I don't like the tackling. So far, I have not liked the tackling. It's, it does not seem possession-based. It seems super random, which is going to be very frustrating for anyone to play. The tackling... Like, that one works well because it's a slide, but the standing tackles do not look like the, the ball retention is really that good. That long ball out is so nice. I'm loving that. What I'm really enjoying through this gameplay is that I feel like the defensive AI is not overpowered. Like, there's a lot of passes that are happening in the midfield that probably could be intercepted, but you'd have to manually move the player. I don't like that. I feel like he should have won the ball twice there. So right away, I have a problem with the tackling. That was a nice pass. I like these chip passes. Nice pass out. Interesting. I'm not sure I like that. Okay, nice pass. Nice ball roll. I like that animation, though. I like that shooting animation. I'm not liking the tackling in this game at all. So far, what I'm seeing. Positives, I like the passing a lot. I think you can end up playing really fast with the passing. I really believe that you'll be able to play super fast in this game, which is really nice. Because that, that alone, we should have a skill gap on passing and, and speed. Nice tackle. Nice turn. Go wide. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shoot it. Okay, wow. The finishing. I mean, that, that shot was absolutely rapid. Look at this shot at the near post. You know what's really nice about that? He wasn't controlling the right back. So the ball, the ball went through. That shot is rapid. Okay, I really like that. I like how keepers look terrible. This shouldn't be bailout. If you get beat and you put it on target, it's a video game. All right, 1-1. One, one. Don't like that. Okay. Okay, this is going to be the, the, the massive issue for UFL. Can they figure out how to introduce possession-based tackling? If you don't know what that is, it's when you... in a video game obviously when you tackle the ball you should be winning the ball like 80 percent of the time i'm not seeing that right there's no animation for the attacker they've got to figure that out because attackers look like they're just running through the defenders and when the defenders do anything besides a slide tackle it looks like it's this ricochet of randomness which i don't like you could say kickoffs are still there that's probably true um this is honestly yeah that's just unlucky though maybe a slide tackle so maybe I love the animation of the finish, and I love the pass, right? I'll say that. I love that part about this play, but... And I don't have a problem with the kickoff. I have a problem with the kickoff because he should have won the ball. But maybe in this game, you're going to have to slide instead of stand tackle. I don't know. The slide tackles do look really effective. 
Again, was that another tackle that was missed? This is going to be a really big problem with this game. They've got to figure this out. So the standing tackles, you just don't win the ball. That's like my number one thing I'm seeing from this gameplay. Okay. I like the, I like the pace out. Nice. Got to win the ball there, man. I, I don't like this, man. With the, the... It's got, That's got to be played a pass, right? Okay, is it going to go on goal? Oh, man. I, the finishing looks incredible. <laughs> I tell you guys, the speed of this game with the passing and the finishing looks so good. I, the two things I would say is that the tackling and the, uh, the way the players like are running out there does not look great. But aside from those two things, like graphics look great. I like some of the skills. Like I feel like some of the skills are way more realistic. No lock on, and he was manually controlling him. Uh oh, what's going on here? All right, let's check this out. We got a corner kick. What the? On a header? That's not possible. Oh. 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 All right. All right. All right. Listen, 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 listen. This is a problem. I, you're not supposed to have AI defending be super OP, but I do feel like the AI should be winning that if you run into the AI. This is a problem right here. Did Was there a... I don't know, man. Is that manual defending or is it just a bad tackle? The shooting, by the way, I, I love when, when you get open, you're scoring. I, I really do like that. I think that's a massive problem with FIFA. There's too much bailout with the keepers. These rats in FIFA are, like, charging with the keeper. It's just... What a ball. Play it. Shot. Is that a goal? Oh my god, disgusting. Oh, wait, what the hell? Yo, UFL, how's that not a goal? What a shot fake. <laughs> I love I love how quick the shot fake is, and it's not like exaggerated. He he shot fakes, he's open. You don't have to wait for the animation, but how the heck did he miss that? <laughs> I can't believe he missed that. I love how quick you can play. The passing is so clean. Nice. Pass. Rainbow. Okay, good tackle. That's how it should be. That's a good tackle. See how he wins the ball like that? Oh, that was sick. That crocodile animation is awesome. Ooh, cooked! Oh, my. So, in FIFA, the V-drag is not... It's not that good. Oh my, that's clean. Wow. I think... Yeah, so you know what they're doing? This is why I really like UFL as a company. Like, one of the first things they did when they started releasing information about their game was they had memed the EA with, like, uh, usernames on the leaderboard. And what they're doing at the end right now is they're actually showing us exactly what was wrong with this video, right? So this is everything we had highlighted, right? You can't win the ball. You know, that miss is... Right? They know. They know. That's the thing. These guys know. They're working on it. This is an alpha. This is what you want to see from a company. They're just working hard to make a good video game for everybody for the sake of everybody enjoying it. And I'm glad they've seen the stuff we've talked about because that one play where the player ran through the player is not... This is not okay. Like, that's... But it's good that they see that because I always feel like EA and some of these other companies, they know this stuff is happening, but... They just keep releasing a new version, a new version, a new promo pack, and they just keep dropping the game. So I, this is really promising. I, I feel like from what I have seen in this video, in terms of the finishing, the speed of the game, and the passing, right? Like, if you think about how fast this game was for a head-to-head -head game, it's it was very fast. 
we saw some of the combo plays of the one-time passing, and when that was done, it was crazy fast. Now, obviously, they've got about probably half a year to release this game, but you know what? Graphically and speed-wise, I like it, and I've been complaining that FIFA's too slow. I've been looking for something that's a little bit faster. What they just have to work on, right? They've got to make the players look a little bit less arcade uh, level, and they've got to work on that tackling. I like the finishing a lot. Most times in this video, aside from that one bad miss, which definitely looked like an animation miss program right here. Like, that just looks like it's a bad animation. We used to have that actually in FIFA 19. Like, before we got to new gen, there was a couple angles where if you were, like, f if you were facing the sideline in a weird way, it would do that. This actually looks really promising. Like, from what I had seen uh, um, previously, this really doesn't look too bad. Um, and I think for me, you know... A lot of what this is success is going to come down to is the game modes, right? Like FIFA doesn't really have the best game modes. And if UFL can offer something different with gaming with your friends, with ranked rewards, with um, anything like that, a pro circuit, a real, a real game mode for grinding, they're going to do very well because we're going to assume this gameplay is going to improve at least 20 to 25%. And, you know, let's not act like FIFA gameplay is perfect. Now, what FIFA has done very well, they've got great animations. Um, they've got every player in the world in, in their game, um, and, you know, they do have great graphics, but there is definitely, um, there is definitely an opportunity for some of these games to do well if they do it right. I think UFL has a couple things to improve on based on this game, but did any of us click on this today expecting it to be perfect? Absolutely not. So, hopefully we can see some more gameplay soon. I really like what I saw in terms of a couple of things. I really didn't like what I saw in terms of a couple of other things, but... We will see how they respond, and I do really appreciate that this company is fully aware of what their mistakes are. They've been like this since the beginning, and so hopefully they keep it up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later. Peace.